Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What is up everyone, HTG Brian here, and we're back with another LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 video for you, and we're making good ground here with level 17, Love Goods Lunacy Free Play! That's right, uh, the next level is actually going to wrap up the third section of this game, so, uh, oh to the yeah, as I like to say around here, but we're going to go ahead and shoot for that true wizard requirement, which is going to be easy peasy with our red brick multiplezy, and... That's multiplier if you guys don't speak Snoop Dogg and ease. But uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and start off in the Leaky Cauldron and choose Love Goods Lunacy, which is down in the bottom left section of the choices. And, of course, we're going to choose our strong character because he, for whatever reason, was not popping up by default in the game when we chose Harry or anybody else. So, hey, we're off and running. We have removed all cutscenes and sped this video up ever so slightly and immediately have ran towards the screen or down and found a student in peril which simply needed Loomis to go ahead and free. So, wee-hee, turn that frown upside down, buddy. And now, next, we're going to go ahead and target five. That's right, count them, five crows. That's right, we're counting crows. Uh, I don't know any counting crows songs, otherwise I'd sing one right now. But uh, all right, so two on the right fence. One is on the main perch of the house right above the stairs. There's one on the left-hand side fence, and there's also one tucked in under the uh, little shelf there. I don't know what you want to call it, the, uh, the decking. So just to the left of the climb wall and under the old Quibbler dispenser is the first house crest piece. Well, I guess if you got them in those order, I don't know if it'll pop up there, no matter which order you got those on. But uh, if you followed our order of knocking those crows out, they should be right there. Now, next we're going to want to go ahead and clear out all of the debris in front of the climbing wall here. And it's kind of uh, tricky to get it all, but you're going to want to make sure that the it's totally exposed and ready to go because we're going to go ahead and use Loomis to reveal a Weasley box over here. That's right, those devil snares or tentacly like things. We're holding it back, and now we've got some suction cups. We're going to go ahead and climb up the old wall here. Once we get up top, we're going to switch to a character that has the dark magic ability to go ahead and remove this lock here. So shake it up and remove it, and oh, to the yeah, Look at that, we got a quibbler dispenser. So go ahead and grab some specter specs, or 3D goggles, as I like to call them. They kind of look like 3D goggles, illuminating that awkwardly pinkish blue kind of hue but uh yeah well, all right so we're gonna use lewis to go ahead and remove the tentacly like things from both piles and reveal some diggy bits so we're gonna go ahead and switch to one of our favorite characters that happens to be strong and can get his dig on and uh, we're gonna dig up the leftmost pile, which actually reveals another dark magic box. So we're gonna go ahead and switch back to Grindelwald and remove it. And look at that, we've built ourselves a bunny wabbit. Oh, that's so cool. And you can choose to hop on it and ride it all the way down, or you can just walk over and grab the, the character token as well as the studage that's left behind now. All right, next up, we're going to head to the right-hand side and use Leviosa to go ahead and lift up all five of these carrots and put them in the basket here. Once you get all five secured inside that basket, we're going to go ahead and grab that Gryffindor, or red, housecrest piece. So, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Booyah, the show. All right, we'll collect and we'll move on. Actually, we're going to build this up and see what it is. There's a lot of weird abstract vehicles in this level. We've already seen a rabbit that we could hop around on. That's some sort of weird balloon propellered. Uh, I don't know, even know. But uh, make sure you grab your house crest piece. And look at this. It doesn't, it doesn't quite lift off. Not really. Uh, we kind of went up on the terrain there, as you can see, it goes up. But, so anyways, I, it would have been cool if we could have flown around a little bit. But boing, boing, boing. Boing. Oh, little bunny, hop along. I don't know the words to this song. All right, next up, we are actually going to go ahead and take on a bunch of the story elements so we can go ahead and get inside the house here because uh, the next elements are inside. So feel free to use those quick links down below in the video description. The next one's actually going to be for the character token skeleton. That's right, them bones. We're going to actually get a character token for damn bones, damn bones, damn skeleton bones. And look at that. We have, whoa, liftoff is what we have over there. Boy, that was awesome. It's kind of like those water rockets we saw on a previous level where we had to pump, 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 pump it up and launch those rockets. And uh, all right, so what we need to do here is actually use Leviosa to lift up the most, uh, largest, most balloon here. And it'll go ahead and pop up above. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. 
Yeah, that's right. I did use Grindelwald, which uh, the his Leviosa looks like dark magic, and I believe it. it I think it's a dark Leviosa, you know, kind of like chocolate and dark chocolate. I think it's like Leviosa and dark Leviosa. I, I think that's what it is. But uh, now over on this side, for whatever reason, I was having troubles uh, getting this bee, and that's because we can't get rid of the bee. We have to actually dig up this other pile here. So, switch back to a character with the digging ability and go ahead and get your dig on. That's right. Oh, look at that. It's a bag of tricks pad or a pink base plate. We're going to go ahead and switch to Hermione and hop on there and see what she's got. Let's see here. What you got? What you got? Uh, oh, it's an ice cream cone. I think that's what that is. And look at the bee. He's like, oh, that's mine. Yay. It's, uh, drawn to the sugars, I guess. So... Uh, third balloon up, up, and away, and it's destroyed the final, I guess it's a kite, which gave us some buildable bricks, and now we build those up into a interesting looking uh, knocker, that's right, we're gonna go ahead and get our knock, knock, knock on, oh, I missed a stud, it's up there by the quibbler dispenser, oh no, it's alright, we can live without it, uh, alright, Next up, as soon as you get inside the house, we're going to go ahead and switch back to a character with dark magic. We're going to shake up this red and black box over on the right-hand kind of middle side here. And look at that. We're going to actually paint a little character token on the wall. And all of a sudden, hey, you got to love magic. I wish I could paint something on the wall and have it appear. I'd be painting dollar bills and uh, probably video games, too. That'd be nice. I guess with dollar bills, I could buy video games. So I'd probably just stick with dollar bills. I'd get really good at those now. All right, in the back of the room, right next to the fireplace on the right-hand side, you might have noticed I just zapped a little uh, bucket full of pieces, and those pieces got up. And I don't know. I can't remember. Do I, did I have to build those? You might have to use Leviosa or just simply build those up. But uh, it builds a nice little band, a little drum set, and uh, it looks like a guitar. We're going to go ahead and take them all down. And, of course, once we get through them all, we're going to collect that character token for Luna in the purple coat. So, oh, yeah. Next up, we got a yellow house crest piece for the Hufflepuff side of things. And this one's actually a little bit tricky. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there is an object you can fix or repair with Arthur Weasley. So go ahead and get your repair on. Now, I know I didn't rec include that in the requirements on the front side there, but you should have gotten Arthur for playing the story, and you should have completed the story before trying to do the free play. So I should have all my grounds covered there, even though I didn't label it up front. But all right, once you get the object repaired, go ahead and bounce around the house. I know your parents tell you never to do this, but in this particular case, I'm giving you permission, uh, but only in the video game. Uh, don't try this at home, please. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean up all five of those spots. And once we do, we go ahead and get the house crest for me and you. All right, so uh, use the Fendu on the old cabinet on the left-hand side and use the pieces to go ahead and build up the left handle. And then use Leviosa on either handle, and your character should go ahead and pull the other handle down, which should make the staircase go up, and we will go up as well. So, hey, uh, I got to be honest. There is a quite a long time here. Whoops, it looks like I missed a little bit of a loading scene there. Uh, I, I had, I was kind of on the fence, like, do I include this or do I not include this? Um, this is a pretty heavy story element. Uh, there is not any collectibles throughout this whole scene that tells this tale of the three brothers. Um, you know, but I, I was unsure, like, do I leave it in or do I take it out? Um, and you guys probably remember this from story. There are three brothers. Each brother has an object of importance. One has the Elder One, one has the Resurrection Stone, and then, of course, the Invisibility Cloak. And all together, they make the Deathly Hallows, and uh, this is basically telling the story of that. And so, again, I was struggling, like, do I leave it in, do I take it out? I figured the best thing to do, because some of you, as I already mentioned, use these videos for both story and free play. Uh, you know, you don't like watching the cutscenes and all that stuff. You skip them when you play. Why would you want to watch them when I play? So uh, I, I get that. And, and so a lot of you guys watch the free play just to get through the level as well as find all those collectibles all in one swoop. And uh, that being said, I decided to leave it in. And uh, hopefully you guys that are in a hurry are uh, smart enough to go ahead and look down below in the video description and use the quick links. Now, the next quick link is going to be for, well, I guess there's only one left, huh? It's the blue or Ravenclaw house crest piece. So that is uh, the last one that's left. And feel free to click it. It's it's actually, so, so when we started, or actually, let me say it like this. The last collectible, the quick link for that was seven minutes and four seconds. The next one, 
is going to be 16 minutes and 57 seconds. So we still got quite a long ways to go. Um, and I'm just making my way through this. As you can see, there are certain parts that require certain characters. So just like everything else, like free player or whatever, you got to use the old Elder Wand to go through the gold objects. You got to use the Resurrection Stone to move the old ghostly or ghastly characters floating around. And of course, there's also those moments that you need to be invisible. So yeah, I, you know, sometimes I wish I had an invisibility cloak so I could just walk through. I wouldn't do any any harm with it. I know there's a lot of harm that could be done with it, and that's why we don't have them. Well, I guess that's probably not why they don't exist. <laughs> I mean, there's a good reason why they don't exist. Let's put it that way. Uh, if they did, there'd be a lot more turmoil and things going on in this world, I'm sure. But uh, the Resurrection Stone, same type of thing. Uh, probably not good. I'm glad that it's, uh, there's lots of magic that I would love to see, but there are a few things that just, uh, in the wrong hands, you know what I'm saying? In the wrong hands, so. All right, we have used that resurrection stone to go ahead and guide the old ghost over to actually flip the switch and stop the old windmill. Now, once we get through that, the next section requires the invisibility cloak. I love that although we are there, he's swinging. He can't see us, nor can he hit us. Now, this is a little bit questionable. Now, you got to toss these pumpkins. We're doing a little pumpkin chunk in here. And, and you got to toss these bad boys right on over and pal him right in the kissa. However, it was being a little weird, and I don't know if this was a user error or what. And then I get stuck. Look, there's an object I can't really see that's in front of me, but it's blocking my path. But eventually, I zap it and get it out of the way. And then I'm able to access this pumpkin again. And then it just, like, like I don't know what happened there. Did I drop it? Did he swipe it out of the air? Like, what's going on there? But... Again, feel free to use those quick links down below in the video description if you're trying to get to that next collectible. If you're just hanging out, what's up? Uh, hopefully you're enjoying my commentary. I don't know. I, I don't know. Some, some videos are always better than others. It's like it's like when I try to be funny or like try to implement. Like if I look ahead, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use this line at this point. Like I always seem to mess it up or miss it, and then I fumble words, and I'm always like, oh, um, 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 oh uh, yeah. So a anyhow, uh, hopefully this is entertaining enough. And uh, if you guys have any questions or requests or anything, whether it's Harry Potter related, maybe you want to see some other Harry Potter stuff. I, I don't know what it would be, but I mean, we're always open for suggestions and requests and things like that. So uh, I know uh, the last couple of days, we've actually gotten a couple of requests for Lego Indiana Jones. Now, uh, Harry Potters were always the most requested, but now that we've got them done, I'm curious to see like, you know, what the most requested games will be. Are they still gonna be Lego? Are they gonna be other Lego games? Are they, you guys want, uh, you know, Lego Worlds? And uh, what, what's, what's the other one? Uh, oh yeah, Lego City Undercover are both coming out in the next couple of months. Uh, at least at the point of this video, uh, and, er, recording, not the point of this video. You may be watching this video in 2021, uh, who knows? Uh, hopefully video games uh, of this nature are still being played and our videos are still useful in the year 2021. But uh, hopefully I'm still around making videos for that matter in 2021. Maybe Reese will have graduated to being the main recorder or something by then. Who knows? Uh, sky's the limit, I guess. But, all right, we've used that uh, <laughs> resurrection stone. I almost called it the rejuvenation stone. Yet again, to go ahead and guide that ghost up and flip the switch. And next up, you can see here, we need that invisibility cloak yet again. So sneak on by to the other side. And then once you get over there, you can see we got this light we need to use the Leviosa on. So shine the bright, shiny light right in his face, and he will take off and allow the rest of the characters to make their way through. Now, there's plenty of studage in here if you are lacking in that department. As you can see, I'm running back. Cut to catch them all. But uh, really, you just need to head up to this old well and pull up the, whoa, I guess some bricks, which we're going to build into, what is this, an anvil of sorts? Boom, that's right. Drop it like it's hot, I guess. Make sure you grab that bluesy before you drop down the hole. And down below, there's a whole bunch of gold boxes and those. And we're going to go ahead and take all of them out. It's kind of a funny angle on a couple of them, so be careful or move around. You can you can move kind of front and back by pushing up and down. It's kind of like Little Big Planet. This this section really reminded me of the Little Big Planet games in that sense, where it's kind of a 3D or 2D scroller, 
And uh, there's the, uh, the the different lanes, so to speak. So make sure you stay in your lane, man. All right, here we are. We have completed the Three Brother Tale. And it's really important. Now, I'm going to address this here in a minute again because uh, we're not quite ready to go up the stairs. But it's important that you use this deluminator lamp and capture the light with Ron before moving to the upstairs region. Now, uh, in order to get upstairs, there's a couple of things you got to do. Now, it's actually kind of funny. I... I didn't really think about the fact that you really just need to pull that handle in the back. So you could use your strong character and avoid all of this kind of story related stuff here. And that includes the hacking of the bookcase and the watching of the production here. And again, this reminds me of the old Looney Tunes cartoons, the old you know, and you don't see that or hear that anymore. That was like a big thing when I was a kid, like any kind of production line or warehouse or that was oftenly used in the Looney Tunes cartoons. And I know Looney Tunes aren't big anymore. In fact, I don't even think they make new ones anymore. They might, but uh, anyways, that was always a fun thing. If you're old like me and you remember that, drop me a comment and we'll chuckle about it together. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and look at that. I got myself some 3D goggles out of the Quibbler dispenser over on the left-hand side. And then uh, we took those glasses over to the right over to the trophy case there and found some pieces that actually made it into a serpent's or basilisk head. And uh, we used the tooth to go ahead and slam dunk it in our cauldron. And I think right about now is when I realized, wait a minute, I'm doing all of this just so I can go Popeye style and get big. I already have a big character. And uh, look at this, I got a little dust mop here. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off these spiders, revealing the last item we need for that cauldron. But watch, I'm like, wait a minute. Do I really just need a strong character? That's all I need. So I get smart here and I switch on over to Remus. And then I get uh, werewolf style. And look at that, I rip it open. And as it turns out, it has given me access to a tube. And that tube is gonna have the pieces I need up at the top. So I'm gonna send Crookshanks up through there. And look at that. I got the pieces I need. I am going to go ahead and shake this up just for those of you who, for maybe some odd reason, do not have a strong character and are playing this. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the purple flower, slam dunk it. Of course, you could drink it and go da 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 But we've already done that, so we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is use these pieces that came out of the tube and build that up. Now, all right, here it is. Again, it's really important that when you pull both these handles down, before going up the stairs, before going up the stairs, I can't say it enough, make sure that you use Ron and the deluminator lamp. Here I go, I'm gonna pull it out, make sure you see it. Make sure you got your charge on before you go all the way up these stairs. Once you get up there, actually head right to the middle back section over here and drop it like it's hot again. And look at that. Do 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 do. Boom, powered up, and we'll grab that blue or Ravenclaw house crest piece. And uh, all we need to do now is pop this silver lock off. And what do we got in here? Nope, not not what we're looking for. Lift up the bed. What's under here? Come out, come out, wherever you are. You, nope, another full juice situation. But look at that. We found a piece we needed. And look at that. We'll take this handle on over and <laughs> step right on that doll's head. Don't mind about that. And look at that. Boing. And look at that. We're going to go ahead and skip that final cutscene and go right to the final total. So all four Housecrest pieces are now officially ours. We did get all three of the character tokens, including Xenophilius Luna, the Skeleton, and Luna Purple Coat. What? Why is this all about Luna? We got three different versions of her. Nah, I'm just kidding. The Skeleton wasn't a version of her. That was just a joke. It was just a joke. Don't take it personal. We did get plenty of studs. In fact, uh, I wonder, you know, we got one more level left. I don't think we'll hit the 10 million mark before we get into that final area. But hey, buddy, turn that frown upside down. We have rescued another student in peril, and that actually has given us, given us, given us another gold brick. So our grand total is up to 92. We are almost to the halfway point. We have not even started free roam yet. So uh, clearly lots of gold bricks scattered throughout Hogwarts and the surrounding areas. But hey, you guys, uh, this has been a blast. Like I keep saying, we've only got one more level left, which would be kind of the third section of the game. And we've got a fourth section we're going to take on, so don't worry. And then, of course, we got free roam and any cleanup trophy achievements. So, but if you guys have any questions or comments, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is always available for your viewing pleasure. Most of our videos are there. There are quite a few Harry Potter ones that haven't made it as of this recording, so I'll try to get on that. Our, our automated uh, plug-in has uh, been on the fritz lately, so uh, I'll see what I can do about getting that fixed. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I don't know. How, how many of you guys use our website? Do, do you guys even go there? 
Uh, that's a question I should ask earlier in the video before you guys have all left. But um, let us know down below if you guys do go to our website and what kind of things you would like to see there. I mean, you want more photos? You want photo galleries? Do you want uh, more unboxings? What do you want? What you want? What you want? All right. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Xenophilia. See ya!